Namaste, Facebook Live, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we are in this beautiful Namaste, 99 Facebook days of peace, welcome, counting welcome, down to Peace welcome. Week. And here we are in this we are beautiful in this 99 day days of peace welcome, that has been ignited by this peace, beautiful welcome, Mercury re retrograde portal that is calling the all to honestly anchor into a frequency, a vibration of peace. Together we are the heartbeat. Together we are igniting the passion of peace, the presence of peace, and the being of peace. This specific week, I pray you've been on this journey with us since we ignited on Saturday, August 20th. We are moving through, we are up leveling the basic chakra system of this body. We are inviting this beautiful body to say yes to a greater state of joy. And that's today. Today is about the joy of being, the joy of saying yes to this lifetime, the joy of remembering. We are in this moment where these 30 days are bringing us right to the brink on September 20, when that full Mercury retrograde comes in, as this pre-retrograde period says, remember who you are, are revitalize, restore. May you bring your hands to your third chakra right now. And may in this moment, you receive the remembrance that in this world of illusion, it is the intention to have power over another, to interfere with another's journey that, as Archangel Zodkiel would say, is the only true sin, to use the words of our world. Why not transform that third chakra into the radiant joy that is not tied to anything external, the radiant joy that knows that every breath, every moment, every single exquisite experience of beingness is the gift of the joy of saying yes to your eternal nature, saying yes to this exquisite potentiality and saying yes to the future of all of our children. The ancient ways are restoring themselves as they are weaving with the modern technologies for the birth of that which is now. We are all birthing and we have all been in labor long enough so why not let today be the moment that you bring the tools into your hands, bring the consciousness into your experience and say yes to your joy. Let's anchor that third chakra. And I'm going to turn it over to the most extraordinary, Jess Juntanen, who's been shepherding a week of extraordinary guests and experiences. So hold on. It's getting better. I love you so much. And both Sri and I will be here tomorrow when we anchor the ascended heart, which is the foundation of it all. Mwah. Catch you tomorrow. Hey, 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 namaste and welcome. I am Jess Gentinen and I'm here with a very special guest today. Come on in, Patty Markham Peterson. Hello. Namaste. It's an honor to be here. I'm so thrilled and excited to be here with you today. Thank you for taking time to be with all of us and to share in this moment, as we are connecting in the Global Minga Heartbeat for Peace, day four, and we are doing the chakras this week. So we're on, yes, we're on chakra three. We are doing the ascended chakra of trust, the solar plexus. And you are so perfect to bring into this moment, being an incredible evasive of medical intuitive, a vase of balancing all the modalities that you have in your tool belt and you help so many beings all over the planet with your skills and your gifts so thank you for being here what do you have to share with us wow well there's a lot we could say isn't there and i loved kira's intro how succinct and to the point about this third chakra as we stabilize the first and the second and lift into this third which used to be, as she said, in the world of illusion, all about power, power over and, and control, right? And now as we lift into the ascended state, we, it's about trust. It's about trusting our own abilities, our gifts, skills, and talents to be safe to share in the world. How many of us out there, at least in my practice and my journey, didn't honor, you know, that divine trust, that who we really are, those God-given talents. Why are we here? 
and to share that and anchor that trust on all those levels to be in that joy. Yeah, absolutely. And in that ascended, when we move into that state where it goes from that orbital chakra, mm-hmm. right? And we move oh. into that empowered, real trust and it becomes, yes, that incredible infinite. We really learn what it means to be really empowered versus that old paradigm of power over we become empowered by our beingness and I just love that so what do you share with beings about how they can empower themselves through the chakra when they're working in this area so definitely helping people to see their goodness connect with do do they really honor and claim those gift skills and talents especially what did we develop through some really hard challenges in our life. You know, what was this here to learn and to bring in and claim those gifts? And then this center, that third chakra governs our digestion. How are we taking in life, digesting, assimilating life? And that's the receiving Kira talked about, that receiving. And it also governs the muscular system. What are the muscles, right? They're wrapped around their bones to take action. So the third is very much about that action too. And so helping people to um, connect with this area, you know, the container practice first to clear out the old, right? Can't use that enough. (laughs) And, um, And listing and connecting with those gift skills and talents. And then slow movement, qigong, yoga, tai chi, the slower meditative. When we slow down, connect and listen to that area of the body, get the messages, anchor those higher qualities, you will, it'll become more robust and balanced. And then we can activate that even more by, yes, the rods. (laughs) Bringing in more, the Egyptian healing rods. These amazing tools that have crystals and special formulations and conditioned in the pyramid help to flow this vital prana chi through our body, through the meridians, helping the chakras improve our immune system, enhance our psychic abilities. And there's many different types. I don't know how much we're going to talk about that, Jess. What, What do you think? Well, what types do you have today? And what do you recommend for people working with some of these issues? Like they want to embrace their empowered presence. They want to connect with their own authenticity more and their joy more how would you recommend using the rods and which rods do you like to use with clients let's talk about it we can talk about a few tapes sure absolutely i i usually start with the quartz quartz are very um, adaptable for most people they're they focus on the heart center and the immune system our thymus gland is here so you're activating both of those so the majority of the people I start there. If somebody's having issues with high blood pressure or um, can't sleep, we'll go down to Kant. And those are much more of a relaxing little, what would you call it? You're not as as high vibe as the quartz. And then if somebody has been on the path for a while and they want to open up their, their seeing beyond and their third eye and their intuitive abilities, we'll go to the crystal. And there's a couple types of crystal rods that really focus more on the sixth chakra and seventh. And so then there's also the star consciousness, which I know both of us had when we were first healers. They're really good for healers. Um, And even those that have been on the healing and self-ascension journey for a while, we could muscle test or douse which rods are best for a person. And then even how long should they use them, right? And they have done studies, five to seven minutes is equivalent to 30 minutes of acupuncture. Isn't that wild? I mean, it's so amazing and it's so non-intrusive. And like you were sharing, we can totally help you fit yourself for the best rods and what works best and, you Mm -hmm. know, emailing um, 
sue at the egyptian healing rods.com if you email through there if you email store at self ascension.com she's so good at helping you select too if you need any support or you know we can hook you up with patty she can help you select you know all of our rods distributors are able to support you in that but yeah very very good information so i saw a question come in too that i think can tie into what you're sharing mm -hmm. um, over on facebook we have sarah asked you know that you could be using the rods while doing some of the practices like qigong or qi, and she hadn't yes. thought about using them that way what an interesting experience yes yes absolutely and um especially outside right just feet on the ground face you know face the sun perhaps it's in the evening night face the moon one of these is a sun rod yin yang and moon rod and so i'm having a nice reflection you on my face beautiful sun on you <laughs> and so um yes we you can use them and during meditation will really benefit and um we do circles with them. I, you know, my monthly circles, we connect everybody with the rods. Couples can use them to sync their energies. Yeah. That really would help those in partnership. Yeah. Any other questions out there? Yeah, I'm just seeing so much like love for you right now. There's like all this love for Patty and Jess from everybody. Thank and you. just we love you guys all so much. Thank you for being here and being on here live with us. And you know, the rods really are so exciting because it takes all like the practices and things that we're doing and gives you an extra, not just oomph, but it actually conditions your own being, I feel, to be more Absolutely. receptive and more, Absolutely. yes, able to work with those energies. You're attuning your frequency mm -hmm. and everything becomes much easier. Absolutely. Oh, another question before we go to curious about what personally or with clients you've noticed the growth with more use of the oh, rod. Yeah. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Now, everybody notices immediately after an evasive balancing using rods, they always across the board, you know, more balanced, happier. I have people sometimes just giggling, feeling uplifted. Um, and, and just when people first come in, sometimes I'll just have them sit and hold rods while we chat. And, and again, different ones. The, um, we used to call them the joy rods when they came out in 2010. I'm not sure, what are they called now? The, the little ones and there's feminine and masculine. The, oh, I'm not sure if that's the yin yang or if that's- Yes, the, yes. Yeah. Those, those are really good for helping people to sense the energy where it's working in their body. And so it's really enhances their connection to how they feel, sense, and know energy. So those are really good in that sense. Um, and there's, we can muscle test which balance you need for the day, but the one that feels the most peaceful is what we end up using. And so I hope I answered her question. Yeah, yes. And there was another question about amber rods. Do they help with healing? You know, Cassie, all the rods help with healing. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all amazing. You just have to really go intuitively what mm -hmm. you're seeking and, and aligning with, but all of the rods will support you. Yes. And any of any of us uh, base uh, healers can assist you with that, you know, which would work, you know, match for you the best at where you're at right now. I love them all. I have many clients who've purchased them. I encourage them to use them as Sri mentioned recently, dust them off the box off because sometimes they forget. And, you know, to, to remember to use those with your, I love my daily meditation right now is with my amber rods. However, I will use my quantum. Um, and if I'm not sleeping, I reach for the cont. If I'm feeling anxious, it's the cont rod. See, there's different ones for wherever you're at. Yeah. Yeah. And there's lots of questions and things coming in the chat. And we're almost out of time. And I love that you're asking Sarah about how many types of rods are available on the website for purchasing. Go to egyptianhealingrods.com. The link is in the description here in the live that we are in. And there is a discount code joy exclamation point if you're catching this and you are going to start a, a savings of around $40 for your set of rods using that discount code. If you have not gotten rods before, because October 1st, we are starting with like an up-level rods training and imagine 21 days together where we're all together working with our rods and our consciousness. It's incredible. 
thank you for sharing with us today, Patty. Do you have Thanks anything else to share to before we go? go? Let's may we all just take that deep conscious breath. Let's send it down into our solar plexus. Give it a little extra love today. Wrap it around mm -hmm. and then breathe out the heart. Breathe in crystal and light in the nose, down to that solar plexus. Give that area some loving and out the heart in a beautiful surrender. Thank you. Oh, it is. Thank you. And so it is. We will see you all tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.